hi beautiful people i am coming to you with another video this is a follow-up to my previous video about winolo and if you haven't watched my last video you should go ahead and watch it what i did in that video is told you what winolo is how to download the app how to go about finding work it's a non-traditional way of finding work if you're sending out your resumes and you're not getting any responses and you need to work try the winolo app it's a national based company that um based on your distance they will tell you about jobs that are available there is no resume there's no interview you just accept the job and you go go on and work of course they do a background check but they do that at first when you first take your um your first job but um just to let you know that there is a background check i'm gonna leave my code below so that when you finish your first job you get 25 dollars and i get 25 dollars also but i'm just giving you an update about what i've been doing so i've been winoloing which is what it's called winolo winolo is the company winoloing is what we do I've been winoloing for the past uh, eight days and I've been winoloing in the same facility for this past eight days it is a warehouse and they needed um, holiday help oh my seatbelt scared me they needed holiday help and um, they put the job up on the app I accepted it and we came in for training last week Saturday and I was off on Sunday I could have taken a job last Sunday because they, they needed people but I was so exhausted I had a migraine when I left out of there on Saturday and I just couldn't get over it so I didn't work on Sunday but I've been working since Monday and I'm work today's Saturday again and I am working again tomorrow so a total of eight days I've been working and it's been pretty good my schedule is um 4 p.m to 1 30 a.m but even though it says 4 to 1 30 we are out of there at 12 45 because that's when the place closes 12 45 and basically my duties are to um to help pack um it's a, a warehouse with where they sell unusual items so my duties are to help to pack the boxes and get them out in um, the shipment so people could get their gifts for the holiday season um let me see what happened oh i have a story what happened to me on monday night because like i told you i was off on sunday so last week saturday i was able to park in the main parking lot of the facility so you know that was no problem i'm thinking okay parking is cool because where i am it's an industrial area so there is not a lot of parking during the weekdays so when I came back on Monday, the security, I pulled into the, into the area, security guard was like, I'm sorry, you can't park here unless you have a pass. I'm like, okay, how do I get a pass? It was like, well, if you're not a regular, then you can't get a pass. So I'm like, where am I supposed to park? He's like, well, there's parking where we are in Brooklyn. I don't know why this camera keeps cutting off on me. Where we are in Brooklyn, there is a ferry and there's a ferry parking lot and there's a lot of parking so he's like okay you can park by the ferry you don't have to pay and you know the facility entrance is right there so i'm like cool so i go and i park by the ferry and let me tell you you should always follow your gut instinct instincts so we go on a break at 8 15 we get an hour break unpaid of course and my mind told me go and move the car and bring it into the main lot because you know it's easier to get to from the building even though the ferry is right there the building parking lot is closer so I, of course I didn't do that and when we ended work at 12 45 and I go to get my car why is it that I could not get out of the parking lot by the ferry I'm like oh my god so there were some guys from the city over there doing construction and i asked them I'm like how do, how do i get out with the other exit they were like honestly you are stuck in here until 4 a.m that's when <laughs> i have to laugh now but i'm telling you it was so upsetting he's like that's when they open the gates again at 4 a.m so okay there's a 24-hour guard booth and i went over there and i asked the security guard i'm like listen i'm stuck in here i didn't know i had to move by 10 o'clock He's like, I'm sorry, but you're stuck in there till four. That's when 
the security guard who's responsible for that area comes around and opens the gate. Oh my God. And you know, I had to use the bathroom. I had to pee. So I had to sit in there holding my pee. I don't know how the heck I did that. I just didn't even think about it. I sat in there holding my pee until actually 3.30. And the reason why I was able to leave at 3.30 is because the same construction guys that I told you about that I asked, at one point I saw them um, reversing and lining up like they're leaving. And so of course I jump in there with them and there were like seven cars in there and I was the third in line to get out. But you would think I would be scared and um, frightened, but I really wasn't because where the ferry is, there is a lot of cameras, like the NYPD put up a lot of cameras. And like I said, the city construction guys were there. So all I did was park close to them, listen to my music, took some pictures of the city skyline, called people who I knew were still up and told them my, my, um, my situation. Of course, some of them were upset for me. Others just laughed and like, how could you let that happen to you? So that's my story. It never happened to me again. Since I've been here the eight days, I have been forcing myself. What I did the first couple of days was park in the ferry. But by 8.50 when we get our break, I went and got my car and brought it over to the main parking lot. And then other days I just got really tired of it. I'm like, you know what? Somehow I'm getting into this um. I'm getting into this garage and what I did was I went around the back way found a different way in and parked like so close to cars that nobody really noticed me so I am here so like I said now it's Saturday it's 3 45 I have 15 minutes to get inside and get ready for my shift and that's about it so if you're interested in Winola Wing and you are looking for a non-traditional way of finding a job oh the pay the way they pay is like every other day so for instance i work today i will get my pay for today will get processed by tomorrow and it will hit my bank account by the next day so by the second to third day of you working you're getting your money so the money keeps constantly trickling into your account so I know you'll probably have that question. Do we have to wait till we finish the entire thing to get paid? Or do we get paid periodically or what? But that's how it works. You work today. It's confirmed that you worked your shift. Your money is processed the following day. And by day three, you have your money in your bank account. You do have to link your, um, you have to link like a debit card to your Winola account. Some people told me that they link their PayPal card, but I actually link my, I link my checking debit card. Yeah, I hope I said that right. My checking debit card, that's how I link. So every day I have money trickling in and it's been good because like I said, it's the holiday, people have extra expenses and you know, you, you look to see how you can get help. And this is one way of you to make money. So download the Winolo app, fill out all the information that's asked for, take a pretty, take a nice picture and upload it because you, you have to put your picture, you have to put your social. There's, they make sure that everything is done legit. And at first I was skeptical about it, but now I'm like, wow. So where I am, I've been talking to a couple of people and I've asked them like, how long have you been doing this? because I just heard about the app last week. Let's see if I can keep out some of the light. And they were like, they've been doing it since summer, but I don't know how long the app has been around, but I downloaded the app, I filled out information, and within that week, so I did it on Monday, and by Wednesday, I had job offers, and I started working on Saturday. So that's, I know a lot of people have not heard about it, because I went looking on YouTube for Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? Ooh. Guess where I'm off to? It would be nice if you put on your indicator. Guess where I'm off to? I am off to do more winoloing. I know you've watched my previous videos. I've told you 
what I'm doing with Winolo, what Winolo is, how to go about doing Winoloing, and everything. So, I am off today to do more Winoloing. It's with the same company. I'm sticking with this company because of the convenience, the location. The location is only um, 20 minutes away from my house and like I told you before, the work is not that hard. Not that I wouldn't be willing to do hard work, but most of all, the location is what I like. The fact that I could leave work, you know, and be there in half an hour. Parking is available and it's pretty convenient. But so today we'll make day nine, nine straight days. I've been doing it for 10 days, but today we'll make nine straight days since I've been working with this company. And I'm telling you, I am exhausted. But I'm pushing through because I'm not sure when this opportunity will come again. As far as the location and even more um, jobs like this that pay so well. So I am pushing through until it's over. Christmas is only, what, five days away? And the company, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the company I'm working with because I don't wanna put the, you know, I don't wanna do that. But it's a company that provides a lot of Christmas gifts and the help is needed. But I must tell you that I've met a lot of different people this week from all walks of life. I've had some interesting conversations. <laughs> I've had some really interesting conversations. Even one last night to where the fact I still have a headache because the person was talking so much. But pop the title now. And we're gonna push through. Had me some honey, which is a natural remedy for headaches. Oh, the highway is clear today. Had some honey, which is a natural remedy for headaches, and we're gonna push through the shift. Today I'm working noon until 9.30, and of course we get an hour break, our lunch break, so it's really, you know, eight hours, eight and a half hours. And that's it. So I don't know if today will be my last day with this company, or I'll have more opportunity with them throughout the week. I'm thinking yes, because like I said, we're close to Christmas. Christmas is five days away and they are very busy. But the way it's working this week is, I don't have a full week schedule. They're just um, posting the jobs day by day. So for instance, this job that I'm going on right now, the shift I should say, it was posted it was posted around 7 o'clock last night and I didn't take it because honestly I was exhausted and I needed a break. Needed to go grocery shopping, I needed to clean up the house a little bit. So I had, you know, I had stuff planned for today. But then when I woke up this morning to take my nephew to school, the shift was there again. Like they reposted it. So I said, you know what, it's a sign. Let me just take it and work with it. So that's where I'm off to. So I think that is, that's it for today's video. I've told you all there is to know about Winolo. So I hope you've downloaded the app so far. Whatever city you're in, I've hoped you've um, filled it out, all the information that's needed, and gone on your first job and experienced it. I mean, if it's only for you to experience one time, it's a good experience. Like I said, it's a non-traditional way of finding a job. And I think that's where we're heading in the future. Because nobody wants to be tied down, you know, to one job, unless it's like a career that you have. That, you know, you went to school for eight, 12 years for, and now you have a career. But if you just want something to make some extra money, want something to just um, you know put some money in your pocket temporarily while you move around and do your own thing build your own business work on your own projects this is a good way 
to do it. Oh, I know I had a story to tell you. I'm not sure if I told you in the last video, but I was having a conversation with a guy. And like I said, I'm in New York. And he said his friend, he did Winona Wing from New York all the way down to Florida because he wanted to get to Florida. So what he did, he started off in New York and then he picked up a job in like New Jersey, then in Pennsylvania, and then so on and so forth until he finally got to Florida, which I think is pretty cool. You know, like I said, you're not tied down to one place. If you feel that you could get to a location, if you have a car, that's great. If you feel that you could get to a location and get back home with a decent amount of time and still have time for your family and do what you want to do, I think it's a great, it's a great thing to do, to have. So that is my little review for today. I am on my way to work. And if anything changes or I'll give you guys an update later on in this video or in another video at another date. But the highway is moving. I am so happy. I will be there in no time. And I will see you guys. Uh